Let me tell you something, okay? She daisy on my shy guy. Hey, everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Game Sketch. Today, and only today, we are here to talk about Mario Strikers Battle League. That's right, we got our first DLC announcement and all that stuff. So we're going to get into all the details, what I think, all this stuff. But of course, before we get into that, of course, subscribe to your boy, like the video, and keep supporting the content, okay? Because that shit means a lot, of course. And tell me, guys, by the way, what other kind of content you'd like to see. You know, I, I do the stream highlights that you guys really like i do these you know news discussion videos and stuff like that i upload the vods and i do you know the fan dubs or, or whatever activities i do but let me know if there's any other type of content you'd like on the channel maybe a retrospective on like a game or a discussion or or something let me know what's up and uh, i'll try my best to provide but of course guys let's not dick around anymore okay let's get right to what's important in life that's right mario strikers dlc one let's go ahead and together watch this trailer i've seen the trailer uh not really fully because i was in bed and i was sort of just like Oh, fuck yeah, dude. But So let's go ahead and watch this together. Then we can go back to it and analyze it a bit. So here we go right here. Yeah, the arena cheering. I kind of like that they start with no music, too. There you go. There she is. The girl. The, the icon, bro. Oh, yeah. Look at her, bro. Daisy. Go ahead, Daisy. Pop off, buddy. Do what you got to do. Do your little Tobey Maguire dance, you know? And wow, Technique type who doesn't get knocked down, bro. Daisy really is that fucking guy, dude. There you go with her special. She got the flowers out there. Nice. I like how they, they sort of flower. We'll, we'll go back and analyze. And of course, the boy, shy guy, bro. That dude, bro. That gentleman. That that escapade. He's fully balanced. Look at him, bro. All around dude, his gear choices are key. That's really interesting. Okay. So they're going crazy with him. He's spinning. I see him fighting for his life. Boom. That animation, bro. So clean. He's got like this nice tornado. Nice, good shit, bro. There it is. New gear. Night. That's cool. So we've got new gear that changes up the game. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I like it. Oh my god, look at Waluigi's strength there. Uh, new stadium, the desert run. Okay, so I can hear our desert music. God, that's clean. That is clean, bro. I like these. I like the goals and everything that you can swap around here. Use it for quick matches or set as your club stadium. Nice. There it is. So free update available July 21st. That's going to be Friday. Usually that means Thursday because for some reason... A lot of Nintendo games, the DLC just drops on Thursday. But yeah, so we got our trailer uh, for it. Really happy about it. Let's go ahead and, and do our little, you know, analysis. You know, let's do our little, our little breakdown of what's going on here. You know what I mean? So we go right in here. Uh, obviously, we get, you know, Daisy coming through me. I'm like, Daisy, I really like the look. Obviously, Daisy is a bad bitch. You know what I mean? We all know that, bro. She is fine. All right. And look at her. She's doing her little flips. She's got Luigi out here, bro. Flexing. You got you got Peach showing in the back right there. So, yeah, let's see right here stats. So, obviously, Daisy's got to be a technique character with some strength. That's, that's always how I picture Daisy. And that sort of applies. You know, she's got decent strength. She's got a good technique. She's a pretty good character just on base stats um, alone. So, that's really good. So, we go here, right? I'm trying to see... Uh, this is awesome, man. Just the personality that's being exhibited through Daisy, just like everybody would have wanted, is great, bro. Like, I just, I love seeing it. There's some more footage on Twitter we're able to check out of Daisy. But right away, really cool stuff. So, technique type that doesn't get knocked down. Now, first of all, poor that Yoshi, bro. Look how she just pushes him. Like, it's not even like a kick. Like, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me... You are crazy, Daisy. You are a crazy motherfucker. Look at this, right? She does a little Toby dance, right? Yo, she attempts, right? And then she's just like, you know what? You stupid, dumb, little dinosaur motherfucker, right? Die. <laughs> and he just goes knocking. That's hilarious. But yeah, so she doesn't get knocked down now. Is this just universal? Like, she cannot get knocked down by a push. If I do, like, the super push with Bowser, can she get knocked out? I assume she could still get knocked out if, like, you fully charge your, you know, your charge attack. Um, but technique character that won't get knocked down sounds really cool. Again, I just don't know how they're going to do it. I hope there's more to her special. Because from what I'm seeing, it looks kind of basic. It's just... She gets a kick and she goes for it. I assume they're skipping the beginning of it. You know, when she does her whole, you know, flip and everything. Because it sort of just goes to, it sort of just starts at the part where, you know, it's about to activate. 
because usually they all sort of get into this activation mode that's usually the lowest you know part of this but i assume like there's gonna be all thing but again like i really like how they're almost going with this sort of like silly funky vibe with daisy where she's very very sort of just like vibrant with her movements and stuff so really love that so her special move seems to like i like how it rotates the characters in the air in the in a in a daisy style of course very nice touch uh love that shit really dope and of course then we get the boy shy guy for the mac the don the god himself bro look at him chilling vibe and look at look at this little dude bro look at this little dude just hanging out bro living his best life so really interesting that shy guy is just a pure all-rounder character very mario like uh in that sense so pure all-rounder um but they're saying that uh from the all-rounder whose gear choices are key now I, I wonder if that means maybe he has different like techniques or stuff when he gets gear i assume it just means he's basically like mario right where like the gear is heavily going to influence how this character is because he is an all-rounder um but that's really cool seeing how he runs around i love this special this sort of like tornado uh that kicks him i think he's getting kicked by the propeller shy guy if i'm not mistaken if i could see this right here yeah look at that the propeller shy guy going and tossing him boom nice little spin getting in there i really love how it looks there again animations in this game so good like i even hear right like the way his like head becomes like massive before he hits it here is just it's so cool bro so he goes for that does a nice little tornado drill kind of move so really cool stuff there so i'm trying to see what the new gear does so looks like two string one shooting passing speed technique okay so again it's really hard to tell with the stats because like of how different they can be but i assume it's going to be on the more heavy side because they're attributing shit new stadium the desert you know you get your basic desert you get your desert style two with the backgrounds and you get your devil desert style three man i don't know how people get all these points i assume it's from playing the club city but like my club doesn't have enough people to warrant me getting all this fucking money for these arenas um so i don't know I, I hope they make it a bit easier to get this shit. but yeah really cool stuff i like the unlockables uh and everything so yeah july 21st now let's go ahead on twitter here because on twitter we do have additional info so right here right this is a big deal right here so we officially have a roadmap for the games people have wanted a roadmap to know what's happening you know and, and i appreciate this i'm glad they did this because the no roadmap and guessing for the rest of your days is awful so obviously it doesn't give us you know concrete dates but it says these are free updates coming in 2022 we can you know deduct logic here we've got four months left of the year i assume we're gonna get an update for this game in mid-september and then we'll get one more in like november and that'll be it you know i feel like that's gonna be the wave so yeah i'm glad they're going with two characters also i love their hd renders i just love this shy guy render looks so fucking clean i love this daisy one they're just very enthusiastic really cool love to see it in there um and yes you're getting stadium and a new gear set i assume that's just gonna be the wave for each wave i mean we don't know for sure it could be wave two is three characters for some reason but i'm glad thank god it's two characters per wave because i think having overall six dlc characters uh will round out the roster very nicely and having some new arenas in there will be cool um but yeah so that's gonna be our roadmap i'm not sure what we're gonna get i'd like to see maybe a surprise character like i wonder what what makes sense logically to be next you gotta have bowser jr i feel like bowser jr's gotta be a must in there um as well as diddy kong i feel like those are the two that like they were definitely part of mario strikers you know history um and i feel like they would be very poor i feel like the bass jr is like a lock for next i hope wave 3 has a surprise character like give me something weird from nintendo you know give me an egad you know give me an rpg character give me something cool different and wacky uh that would be really nice but yeah so we have that uh we have some additional footage of daisy i really love this bro one of her full victory animations here look at her look at her just bursting with life bro you are the you know what daisy you are the best that that's the thing about daisy right daisy hasn't always been you know my cup of tea and, and you know what's weird is i don't know why because she's very much like me she's just very over the top and cheery about stuff maybe it's the haircut i'm, I'm not the biggest daisy haircut fan you know what i mean but personality wise she rocks the room bro we love to see it we love to see it i'm um, trying to see and look at shy guy of course bro shy guy equals best guy shout out to nintendo uk really out. look at him look at this dude bro look at this dude i love shy guy bro he's such a silly little shithead he really is just 
a dumb happy little dude just living his best life but yeah so uh that's what is with that i think i wonder if nintendo uh regular nintendo um put up any extra footage or information no they got trails of zero that there's another trails game i feel like they come out left and right uh let's see this yeah look at him He's just a happy guy, bro. He's just a happy dude, chilling, living his best life. But yeah, so that's going to be our updates. Also, important Nintendo thing as well. Uh, Nintendo has stated about the eShop, uh, the, the Wii U eShop. Uh, let me go and actually find the same because I feel like this would be important for a lot of people to know. I feel like we should mention this because it's important. Uh, as of, yeah, as of the discontinuation of the eShop for Wii U 3DS, as of uh, September, uh, not September, August 29, 2023, it will be no longer to add, possible to add funds and as of the 20 as of 2023 purchases will no longer be available all right so i feel like this is very important to note guys that you basically you have until the end of next month to put money in there even e-shop codes or anything right? you have until next end of next month to put money in those shops and then as of march 2023 um the purchases will no longer be available i'm not the biggest fan of this i don't like I don't like it. I understand it. No one is touching these eShops realistically. No one is on it. No one cares. Like, that is the real... It, it's always a weird double-edged sword, right? Because, like, on one hand, right? Like, j if you look at the general basis, no one cares really and no one is going to care. But on a preservation standpoint, I feel like it matters for sure to have these, you know, kept or archived or, or available in some way or another. You know, I think that's the biggest thing. I don't think that people care as much that the shop is closing it's more that the, a lot of these titles aren't available you know on the previous platform or the, on the later platform uh even though a lot of them are in the wii u's case because wii u wasn't the most popular but 3ds is a big one make sure to get your 3ds games that's gonna be a big deal so i want to leave that psc out there too but yeah ck of mario strikers look i know at the same time people have had the arguments you know of how they've uh dealt dwell dealt, is it dwelled out or dulled out the content um listen it is what it is. There's no point of rotating in that argument anymore. Let me know exactly which characters you would like to see as DLC. What do you think is going to be DLC? But what would you like? That's important. But I'm excited, man. I think Daisy, Shy Guy, really good start. Again, I'm actually really happy that it's two characters and not one. Because I feel like well, dropping one character would be like, okay, like, it's it's cool. But at least having two feels like, okay, there's a notable thing. I get to mess with both. Have a good time and all that stuff. It's going to be a good thing. And, man, it's just like, that's the thing about this game. Is like Mario Strikers, uh, so, oh, what's not battling it's so fun gameplay was like i had a great time playing it playing with friends i'm going to be playing it once this update uh drops but it's like i just wish there was a bit more in terms of the online man why i know this is a first world problem but i also know it's not necessarily first world because a lot of people want to just why can't you have lobbies why can't i make a lobby just like smash where i set up you know matches with people so i can play with you know my friends or my audience or whatever like it's just, i feel like this is something so simple that like mario party superstars has so please just do something like that here okay so besides that i'm really excited for the dlc but i just want them to flesh out the online a little bit more and keep this thing alive so guys let me know what you think is this enough for you are you gonna be picking this up are you excited to play as daisy what characters do you want of course y'all i'll see you next time thank y'all for watching peace out